here at Muscle Factory, hitting the uh, second leg day since my near exit, we'll call it. And uh, right now it's, it's humbling to say the least. Everything's gonna be very, very heavy. Um, but I just remind myself that uh, two weeks ago, I got film of Tommy uh, filming me learning how to walk again. So it makes it a little bit easier to accept what's happening, but uh, the, the thought process is there will be a ton of change in a very short period of time. I would like it. My goal in my brain is uh, three months from now to be back up to 300 uh, and back to doing what I do. So we'll see. So far we're on track. I'm just preparing myself for the pain that's going to be coming after this. <laughs> Everything that I can still do strong is going to fuck me. anything to failure today because I'm already gonna be fucked from the soreness so keep it smart I have to walk I, mean, I guess I don't have to walk I spent months a month not walking but Tommy got sick of wiping my ass so I guess here we are back to me walking I was pretty much a child that Tommy had to take care of keep me out of trouble stop me fighting for nurses why do you the nurses? They didn't want to let me go home. I had shit to do. Did you though? Well, no, I mean, not really. This might be by Max. The other day I did uh, two plates and a quarter. So this is like two plates. I don't know. Seems like a good idea. Sway's here, I'm stronger when Sway's here. Anabolic camera. Feel it. Feel it, my soul. <laughs> I got new chucks. Oh. Uh, at home, I got, I got new reds and new blacks. But I didn't want you guys to think I was pulling the fire out for you. So I brought the old ones. I washed them fresh though, for today. Mm -hmm. So I, I want you guys to know I cleaned them up, but I didn't want to like go all out and bring the new ones. So there's levels to this shit. I got to kind of reintroduce myself to everybody. So I figured I'd reintroduce with old shoes. These ones have some power left over in them. I don't want to train my chucks training pussy shit, you know? It's not good. It's like a car. You gotta drive it aggressively to train the engine. I read that somewhere. I didn't know it's true. I mean, it's kind of like what you do when you break it in, I guess, right? I mean, in my mind, that's what I always do. <laughs> or I just drive like an asshole because I want to, but I mean, whatever. It's probably the latter, but whatever. <laughs> like usual.
shoot. set up for a heavy one and I'll drop back down <coughs> and do a set of 20 in my last set. He's gonna fuck me up. I mean besides being like down on strength though, is like everything feeling okay though? Yeah I'm connecting really really well. Um in some things like my my left side is actually the mobility is improved so um realistically I'm not trying to just be a uh glass half full guy but there are things about this that are beneficial my waist is also down so we're approaching the gaining with some thinking i'm actually only doing three whole three meals a day and only six ounces of protein in each of those meals then i'm doing three shakes a day and then i'm living on uh the bcaa eaa combo um it's been nice though i mean i Thank God for uh, condemned paying for that shit because uh, I'm doing about seven, eight servings a day. So Michael's going to be like, what's going on with our profit and loss here? <laughs> Dusty drank all the black ink and there's all the red now. What's funny is you, you start doing things perfectly when you're uh, coming off of an injury or whatever the fuck you want to call my situation. And now I'm like, why was I not taking more confined the whole time? Because I actually feel good, tastes awesome, for me it's free, so it's like, literally after a couple of days of just having it in, I'm like, I got, I should have been taking more, so I've got my clients all taking more now too, um, but I am literally doing about six servings a day, so, wow. yeah. So you just keep refilling the shaker with it? Yes. Nice. I just drink it. I'm eating, I'm, eat, I'm eating a meal and I'm drinking confined. Like you're in the panic room. <laughs> right? I, like slide. I tried to mail something the other day. Uh, I got some orders. I literally had to ask the lady behind the counter to fill out the forms. I'm trying to put it down. It's like... And when you can't do your own name because yeah. that's what you're used to, then you got to write the person you're sending it to. Oh, fuck that. I was like... Yeah, I'd like this to get to this person, so it was great though, you just tell people, it's great to watch their face. I had, a, I had my neighbor the other day, literally yesterday, I get out of the truck at the same time as him, he goes, you gone for a bit? I was like, I was in a coma for a bit. You want to watch someone's face, just go, I was like, I do, see ya. <laughs> yep, boom. Come on, come on. Ah, shoot. One more. Right, come out, come out. Nice. Shoot. About half the weight and half the reps as before. We're doing this for 20s low foot before with 10 plates aside. But that's still two plates more, two and a half plates more than last time, so I'll call that a win. When it spills out, the confined always makes that leaves its mark. And that's how I know you're drinking the right shit. Plus, it tastes delicious. Which is the real reason I what use you it. You got that peach iced tea or that coconut lime? I'm doing coconut lime today. It's so good. What's, what's your favorite? So though? fucking good. I actually love the coconut lime, which surprises me because I'm not a huge coconut person. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's the perfect 
it's light enough. You know? <laughs> punch a child. <laughs> Problem is right now I just get my ass kicked by a kid after that. It's nice to feel frail. Couldn't fight my way out of a wet paper sack right now. So basically everything today and in the coming weeks for me is going to be nothing loading on my shoulders or spine. Um, I'm really trying to take advantage of this time as I put the mask back on with muscle memory keep my waist tight. So I'll be living on the leg press with different variations. Um, once I have the balance, Bulgarian split squats, things like that. But again, the goal here is uh, when I get back up to three, 300 or so, it's actually be a lot better than I was before because my waist atrophy too. So I'd like to keep it where it is as everything else goes up. So we're purposely going slower on the gains. I don't, I'm gonna miss my favorite machines for a while. But uh, I want the look more than I want the training. finish. It's kind of like getting married. As time goes on, it gets more painful from a decision you made months and years ago. It's a two-way street, ladies. I'm not talking shit. I feel the same for you guys living with us, but uh, don't do high rep sets and don't get married. That's all I'm saying. Keep that in mind, kids. Be here for all your great tips. Oh, oh, a piece so of steak me. tried to kill me. So now there's more sarcasm There's hostility, then. yeah. Oh, okay. We're going out to kill some cows tonight. We're going out of steak with Tommy and Matt. A little revenge dinner. Oh, you're getting steak. Ooh. We're all getting steak. I feel like I would have waited like a solid... Oh, you know, how many days has it been? It's been two weeks. That's the first meal I have I got home. you kidding. I went straight to Texas Roadhouse and had steak. Okay, wait. So just for the people, because you didn't say actually how you ended up in there. Miss. Yeah, so I, uh, what I ended up doing was uh, I had eaten some steak and I was late for an appointment with Courtney, in fact. So I was slamming my food down like always. I got a piece of steak caught in my throat and I forced it down with water. And because of years of uh, acid reflux and stuff, my entire esophagus had thin walls. It tore the entire thing top to bottom. Um, so they couldn't fix it easily with like a basic stitch or anything like that. Uh, they had to use the Minnesota technique. But anyways, so a steak put me in a coma is how I look at it. So the first meal I had after getting out of the hospital, I went straight to get a ribeye steak. I fucked that shit up. Like, this is for your brother fucking put me in a coma, bitch. I bet you chewed the fuck out of that one, though. I did. I was still afraid of it. But I fought it. And I won. So you may have won the, the battle, but I won the war. The worst part is my wind. I shouldn't take a nap for a month <laughs> and not move. Turns out that's not good for your wind or your size. Who knew? Okay. Yeah, so uh, the, I'm still breathing hard from the 20 rep set. It's good. I'm the most unathletic 
human on the planet currently. It's a good look. Yep! Come on now. Let's find it. Shoot! Come on! Caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that to be that heavy. You can tell your, um, your stamina drops pretty significantly. Because I actually, this is a lot easier movement doing a regular leg press versus the low foot. So I was, in my head, I think I was going to do six or seven plates on this today. I just got in a fucking fist fight with five and nearly lost. So, I guess we'll tone down the arrogance of hair. Remember, I'm still in partial bitch mode. And accept this is a, we a kind of win. Hard to call that a fucking win. Lean back. Lean back, yeah. Ah. Oh. Tommy's looking out. He's investing in this shit because I disappeared for a month. He doesn't want me to get fucked up again. That guy spent a month in the hospital with me. Every day. I don't know how they fucking did it. I'd have been like, call me when he wakes up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on to uh, some uh, seated hamstring curls. Right now, my primary focus is feeling everything. Um, is that this is my second week, well not even my second full week, but second week back, and uh, I can feel everything again, which is a huge win. Uh, hamstrings I haven't touched yet, so, I'm hoping I can just lock in, feel them really, really well, and uh, progress slowly over time. I'm not just moving weight, but actually feeling shit work. So, about to find out. Can you said? Can. So uh, put some weight on that. I say that like it'll be a bunch. Some weight. Good. face, not the normal one, like the, the one on top of the normal one. I mean, I don't like these. I'm connected really, really well with them in my brain. So the pain is severe. This is much like the day you sign the divorce papers and find out what it costs you. Relax, people. It's a joke, kind of. Never mind. In today's segment of Life Lessons by Dusty Hanson. <laughs> I like to keep the life lessons. <laughs> so the one thing that, uh, that is happening, um, which is getting way better this week than last, is basic tasks 
uh, were wearing me out. So I would get up, start doing emails for clients. I'd get like four or five of them done, and I felt like I needed a nap. So when I get done with this workout, which you know you guys have seen, nothing crazy, and even the volume's low, I'll be smashed. I'll go home, take a nap, wake up, eat a meal, and then go into my uh, dry needling appointment. So every little task makes me tired. I, I try to tell myself it's like a baby though. Every time I nap, I'm growing. That's what I tell myself. Getting out of the 212 division here. Concentration curls, extensions, seated leg curl, fuck, lateral raises, where you're like, I wish DNA dispatch wasn't so fucking good. Like rep one, I'm getting a pump. I'm like, fuck, let's do 15 of these. Yeah. I'm not complaining, I'm just bitching, which is different. Shoot. So that's it. Like I said in the beginning, really, really basic. Not even high volume. Uh, but really, right now, all kidding aside, I have to remind myself during the workouts that the movements are victories, feeling the muscle is a victory, and uh, the mind-muscle connections there. And then the biggest factor is muscle memory. I have to remind myself because it is, it's frustrating. And I actually had somebody uh, comment on one of my posts that they would expect me to be worried about more important things, considering I almost died. And it's funny because I think the opposite. I'm like. No, I'm more worried about this now because I realize how fortunate I am to do it for work. And you don't take that for granted once you've almost lost it. So if anything, my training, my eating, and the way I look became more important, not less. So I guess everything's how you look at it. And for me, I woke up realizing I was very fortunate and I don't want to lose this shit anytime soon. So. You guys are gonna see a fast transformation, but a safe one. And uh, by the time Sway's back out here filming again, back to my old disgusting ways, doing stupid things that I shouldn't be doing at my age. Good times. Till next time. We're out. <laughs>